<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hezzy Crew's first video. Today, we'll be doing the general knowledge quiz where two teams will have to answer a series of general knowledge questions. And the losing team will have to do a forfeit. Today, I'm your host, as. And I am your referee, Jules. And the rest of Hezzy Crew has been split into two teams. We got team one, which will be David. And Benson. And team two is John. And Jaden. Now, without further ado, let's get it going. Round one, we're joined by John and David. The first round genre is geography. Question one, what is the capital of Ukraine? John has his answer already locked in. How confident do you feel? I'm pretty confident. Okay, interesting. What about you? Let's go. We're gonna flip our boards in three, two, one. Flip your boards, gentlemen. John, please read out your answer. Kiev. David? Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Point to Team John and Jaden. The answer is Kiev, not Indonesia. Not, not Indonesia, no. Yeah, I'm pretty Kiev, those are close stuff. Are you stupid? <laughs> Kiev, I'm not pretty Kiev. Question two. What is the largest city in the world? Do you have your answers locked in? Yes. Golly. Okay. Gentlemen, please flip your boards. Jaden, please read out your answer. Mumbai. Ready? Shanghai. The answer New Delhi. to the largest city in the world is Tokyo. Both of you are wrong. Soto points are awarded. Let's switch up the people. Okay, so the next genre slash category, whatever you want to call it, is sports for round two. Mm -hmm. So the first question in the sports category is, what is the diameter of a basketball hoop in inches? Closest answer wins. So inches, not feet. Not? Okay. Um. Okay, so what what I'm thinking oh. is a basketball, the diameter of a basketball is less than a subway foot long. So it's less than a foot, but it's definitely more than a subway six inch, so it's more than six inches. And the diameter of a basketball hoop <laughs> is twice that of the basketball. So that means like Bro, just guess eight inches for the basketball, sixteen for the hoop. Okay, this is some interesting uh interesting stuff. Uh do you have any no. No, you're just making a random guess. You said inches. Okay. Inches, not feet. You said the word. Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes, yes, yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. Gentlemen, please flip your boards. I said 19. I said 16 inches. You were both incorrect. However, it is closest answer. And the answer to the diameter of a basketball hoop is 18 inches. <laughs> <laughs> David gets the point there and is now tied up. John, you're an idiot for not knowing. Don't touch me. Don't Because I, I look at it, that's roughly six inches. Six inches times three is 18. So I said, let me round up to 19. 
The way you're capping, you oh, didn't do it. Because this, right? This is one. So I said roughly two more would be maybe. That's a good show. I don't care. This is don't bad. fuck with me. Come <gasps> on, man. You get that? I don't even know. Wait, I'm dangerous and I'm yeah. dangerous. Still in round two, still on sports. The next question, gentlemen, is what was the first ever Olympic sport? We have some some uh, some answers here. A, B, C, and D. They are as follows. A, a foot race. B, javelin throwing. C, shot put. Or D, high jump. First ever Olympic sport. Have a, good, have a good think about it. Don't forget there are forfeits after the game. It is currently tied. I'll repeat the answers. A, foot race. B, javelin throwing. C, shot put. And D, high jump. First ever Olympic sports. What are we saying, gentlemen? What are we saying? James is erasing his board. He's not very sure of his answer. The hat might be on too tight. I think Ben is right. All right. Do you have your answer? Yes. Oh, do you have your answer? Is this your final answer? Yes. Okay. Gentlemen, please flip your boards and show the camera. Jane, read out your answer. A, a foot race. Benson? Uh, what everyone's javelin is. The answer to the first ever Olympic sport is... High jump. A foot race! <laughs> oh, man. It was too obvious, but it is also correct. I knew that. My dad ran in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on oh, to the third and final round. That was violent. The category for the third round is history. Mm. No demo didn't know nothing about history. History. Yeah. The question is, what century did the French Revolution take place? See, you see how quick John do this. See, I was gonna say like 38 BC. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Interesting. I mean. No, it's judging by your reaction, though. I, I believe it's two one for Team John and Jaden. Oh yeah. Jaden. Jay. Shut up, man. That's my truth. The question was, what century did the French Revolution take place? Do you have your final answers? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I know he did that for no reason. <laughs> Do you have your final answers? Yes. yes. Okay. Gentlemen, please flip your boards. John, read out your answer. The 18th century, which was the 1700s. David has put down 17th. <laughs> no, I put 18th. Hey, answer is... The 18th century. Yes! Uh, this dude changes his answer. This dude changes his answer. Oh, we have it on film. Ref? <laughs> Your violation. It was close, right? Yeah, you were one off. Yeah, 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the final question. In the category of history, the catastrophic destruction of Pompeii in 79 AD was done by which active volcano? Is that your final answer? I think so. Is that your final answer? Gentlemen, flip your boards. Yes, that's it! <laughs> what does that say? Mount Vesuvius. Gotta be. Wait, wait, hold up. Ben, what does that mean? What, what mountain is, uh, what, what volcano is that? I don't know <laughs> The answer is the Mount Vesuvius! See, no one's clapping for you because, uh, uh. Okay, Mr. Moana. Now, David and Benson still have one more chance to win the game. Do, do both because we have a bonus round. The bonus round awards the winner five points. Okay, so the bonus round has one question. The category is movies. The question is, how many languages is C-3PO from Star Wars fluent in? We have some multiple choice answers here. A, over 5 million. B, over 6 million. C, over 7 million. And D, over 8 million. Who will sure. win the bonus round and be the winners of 
general knowledge. I've got no faith in any of these people. Team John and Jade have their answer. Okay, what's the answer? The answer to the bonus question is B. That's class. That's class. That's class. The winners class. are. Let's go. Team John and Jaden. Yeah. You said C. That's poor. Yeah. You said A million. You said A million. CP3. Oh, that's a smart dude. Did you not hear him say you see C over there? Either or. We got it wrong. Yeah. And you did, regardless if they got B, you still would have lost. All right. We have our winners and we have our losers. The winners were John and Jaden. And our losers are Benson and David. So, because of that, Benson and David have to do the forfeit. So we're going to bring in something for them to consume right now. Jules, please bring the forfeit meal. Ooh, what the fuck? And if you could take a piece out for... <laughs> Is that liver? For Benson. <laughs> that's liver. And for David. That's liver. I'm glad that's liver. That's please liver. Take, I can smell it. Take your pieces, take your pieces, please. Look at please. the texture. Right. What in the? It's liver. Now, gentlemen, take a bite. What do you guys think? It tastes like liver. Yeah. Give me some. Give me some details of it. It's not the greatest. David does not seem like he's liking you very much. You okay, Dolphin? Yeah. You have some more for you to eat as well. So. Relax, relax, relax. Why don't you just mun? Why don't you finish first? It's not even that bad. Just swallow it, then. <laughs> okay, so now that they've eaten their first piece, Jules, could you please tell them what they are eating? Boys, today we're eating a beautiful pork liver. liver yeah. mm -hmm. There's a bit of salt and pepper on that. Tastes not a bit. And that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all that's on. <laughs> that's all you have. Not starting to taste kind of bad. Yeah. Mm, okay. The way I've been chewing this, I have finished it. Yeah. No, it does. It's not a good texture. <laughs> 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 I'm still so chewing the first piece. <laughs> How is it though? Rate it out of like a like ten. Like three. It's not bad. That's too high. Like that is. Bad. Okay. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Benson, what about you? What do you rate it out of ten? It's not horrible. I'd say like a six. Wow. <laughs> David, you doing all right? That's disgusting. All right, so that's the end of the video. These are losers, and uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs> Why? <laughs>